Here's your live blog update right after the track meet. We're on the bus heading home right now. We don't have scores yet, but the kids did awesome. A lot of heart and a lot of great work. And now they're fighting over Wi Fi. Yeah, boy! Yeah! And we're going straight home. Uh, we're going back to Taylorview, Taylor, well, yeah. which is my home, away from home. And um, I just realized my nose is sunburned. Great job, guys. Off the track, off the track, off the track, guys, come on. Okay. Coach gets to go up there, not you. This is the cut in, this is the cut in, this is the cut in. Let's go, Taylor View, let's show them who we are. Let's show them who we are, Taylor View. When we cut it in, this is when we cut it in, right? This is when we cut it in, there we go. Mitch, I'm not feeling very well. 
Heartbreaker, heartbreaker. What time? What Hey guys, Coach Plotho here. A few things from the coach's couch. So first of all, a uh, really incredible meet. We performed exceptionally well, uh, but almost as importantly, probably more importantly, you know, we, we were a team. We came together, we supported each other, we loved each other, and we worked hard uh, through it together. 
it was a very, very difficult match. Uh, Madison is not messing around. They're not, they're not an easy team. And it was through that teamwork that we were able to, able to uh, come in and show them who we are. I want to talk about a few things, get us ready for the rest of the season. And one of those things is uh, a few notes about track meet etiquette that some people might not know. One thing that we noticed that we really would like to work on is making sure that the track meet runs smoothly. And the first part of that is to make sure that you know what events you're in, when those events will take place, and then you listen for those announcements. I know oftentimes you are running around, you're doing fielding events, you're doing some different things, um, maybe receiving some coaching, but it's very important that you are listening for those announcements and that you get to your starting line or to your sign-in table very, very quickly. Thing number two, let's talk about the 200 meter dash. Um, you know, when, when we have the 200 meter dash, they will set up spotters on one side of the field and then diagonally they'll put the starter on the opposite side. So if you're in the center of that field, what they'll need you to do is either to get down, uh, lay down, sit down and kind of get out of their, their line of vision, or preferably just clear that whole central area. That'll keep that line of sight wide open and that event can run very, very smoothly and you don't get yelled at by scary seventh grade math teachers to get down. So number three, this is very, very important, and I need um, students and parents to please uh, adhere to these rules so we can make sure everyone's safe and accounted for at track meets. If you need to take your child early away from a track meet, uh, then you're gonna have to sign them out. And I have to make sure that each student is accounted for and they're leaving with their parents. So I do need the parents of the child to sign them out. Uh, if you're taking someone else's kid, I, I actually cannot allow that as part of our district guidelines that unless it's a legal guardian, I cannot send them with you. Uh, so far, it's an amazing year. I, I'm so proud of these kids. I'm having a blast and working harder than I thought I would ever work at this head coaching gig. I hope you're having a great time, guys. I hope you're as proud of your students as I am of these athletes. And uh, we're gonna have just more successes, more fun, uh, more struggles, more victories, more defeats all throughout the year. Let's get out there and show them who we are. Gotta go get out some